Hey, I'm Allison with Flick Direct, and I am here with LaMonica Garrett to talk about Paramount Plus Limited Series 1883. How are you, sir? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. How much did you know about Yellowstone before you heard about the 1883 and all of that coming on board? I was familiar with Yellowstone uh, in my acting classes. Uh, actors would always bring in material like, hey, I'm going up to the show Yellowstone. A couple people I know booked Yellowstone over the years. And my wife watches Yellowstone. I watched <laughs> the first season and a little bit more. And then I got a job. And when I work, I'm just, I get off the grid and just, I got to catch up with everything. So I knew about Yellowstone and I knew more about Taylor Sheridan from his film writing, you know, from Hell or High Water and Sicario. Uh, yeah. So I knew like it was um, it was a special opportunity to be a part of 1883 when the audition came around. Yeah, 1883 has that Taylor Sheridan feel to it, like the movies you mentioned, which I enjoyed all of them. So um, were you excited about this? Were you nervous, apprehensive at all? Because it is there's an expectation. There's a built in fan base. Uh, when I'm when I'm nervous about something, that means I got to do it. Like it makes <laughs> me more excited about jumping in when it's like I can't do that, and then I got to do that, you know. And then you find out you're working with Sam Elliott and Tim McGraw and Faith Hill, and you're like, oh, well, this is okay. I gotta I gotta bring my A game. And then you're there and you're in cowboy camp, and then you hear, yeah, Billy Bob's gonna play one of the characters. Like, wait, Tom Hanks is gonna like, wait, what are we doing here? What's going on? This is madness. Uh, but it, you know, we, we stuck the landing and it, it turned out pretty well. You're spoiling all my questions. My next question was, what was it like working? And Isabel May, I have to say, what a standout that young woman is and what a career making character this was for her. So talk about working not only with Tim and Faith and Sam, but the guest stars, Tom Hanks. I mean, you don't get bigger than yeah. Tom Hanks. Like Tom coming down to do television and for a day right. was, was amazing. And like what you said, Isabel stole the show, like episode in and episode out. She, it was crazy watching her work. Uh, Billy Bob, like that, you know, the, the scene where he was in the um, in the white elephant and he was, you know, del delivering his brand of justice. Yeah. We were there, but we really didn't have a lot to say. So we were kind of fly on the wall until the shootout happened. And watching him navigate that room was acting like a hundred acting classes <laughs> in one, like acting one on one, watching Billy Bob work. And it was master just, it was, class. <laughs> yeah, it was like a master class. And it was just every day on set was like that, though. Like there was. Yeah. Um, if me and Graziella are shooting a scene at one o'clock in the morning and Sam had finished at 5 p.m. At one at 1255, we see Sam walking up the hill because he wanted to, to see our work and vice versa. Like it was one of those like you read it in the script. You can't wait to see it come to life. You might not have anything to do with this. We would be off work back at the ranch, back wherever we're staying and drive back to set to see wow. each other work. It was that kind of. Um, the bond and camaraderie of, of the cast and it made it that much more you know fun to be around and a certain level of mutual respect i would yeah. think and yeah. it was a there was so much humility on this set like it was like between all of us hey if you see something that i'm doing that i could tweak and do a little bit better feel free like tell me tim would say that to me uh i would say it to sam sam would like it was just one of those i would tell tim like hey it was one of those things where it's like, no, I know what I'm doing. It was none of that. It was like, it was one of those environments where no one cares who gets the credit. We all just want to make the best work possible. And if you see something that might make it better, hey, tell me, I'm not going to take it personal, you know? Yeah, that's a great collaborative effort there. If there is a, I don't want to say sequel, but a next story to be told, I mean, Thomas would probably, if it's 1923, Thomas would be, what, probably 70, 80. Yeah. And I don't think they lived that long back then, but if there was, would you sign up for it? Absolutely. Like, to, to keep telling Thomas the story, whether it's a prequel uh, with him and Sam, Buffalo Soldiers, like, how they got there would be amazing. Or yeah. with Thomas and Noemi and the, and the kids. Or Bass Reeves, like, Thomas showing up in the Bass Reeves 1883, like, <laughs> 
hey, I'm sure they cross paths at some point on, you know, yeah. on the range. I would be all in for that. Like it's uh that was an amazing experience to do it one and done to be done after one season. It's, it's, it's the highs and lows of it. The high is you leave on a high note and it just like, it was impactful and we left while we were on top. The low note is like, there's so much more story to be told, but <laughs> you know, creatively that's what it is. And it's, uh, it's even more special because of it. So whatever happens, happens. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of, I would think part of the downer of it is that, yeah, you did great work, but you knew in going in that it was only going to be 10 episodes and and taylor said this is you know he wanted a limited series so yeah yeah i mean maybe yeah. we'll talk about you later on in yellowstone at some point but <laughs> oh but you know what I, I brought up to the producers uh like before we even started shooting it would be cool that wasn't in the scripts at some point if we all took a group picture like somehow in some way that yeah. I don't know how or where in the story it would fit for us to take a group picture. But if you look in, you know, Yellowstone present day and Costner walks by and in the background, you see all the old guys from 1883, like that would be an amazing, if you saw it, you know, like, oh my God, there was Thomas yeah. and Shay and, you know, that would have been cool. It's like an Easter egg. I love it. Yeah, Easter egg. <laughs> so now that the show's over, but there's Emmy nominations. What does that mean for you as an actor? What does it feel like knowing you're not going back necessarily, but we could win Emmy awards? It's, it's you know, if it's one of those things where you're a part of something special and there's Emmys being thrown around. Like if you're a part of an Emmy winning show, that's amazing. Uh, any award show, you know, to that magnitude, SAG, Golden, whatever it is, like it's, that's a feather in the hat, um, but the the meat of it is, you know, the the impact that it had on people, mm -hmm. you know, week to week, or if you're binging it now, like how it's affecting people and how it's educating people, like watching this show through lenses that they haven't seen before in westerns. It's just that's what it's all about. The the, the reaction of people coming up to me, like black cowboys. Um, me and my family were on vacation in Hawaii. Black men coming up to me like, man, thank you for telling our story. Wow. Thank you for being a strong role model for my son. Like, it's just, I never saw it growing up. And I didn't know that, you don't know what you don't know. I didn't realize at that age that I'm not seeing a lot of black cowboys in these Westerns that I'm watching. And you get older and you realize. So now, like, I want my son to see that. I want him to be, you know, aware of these these powerful, you know, men of dignity in this time period, when we hear so much of the negative, there's some positive too. It wasn't all just doom and gloom. There were some strong men back there that we need to see their stories. Absolutely. And I think you portrayed it beautifully. I want to touch upon very quickly about streaming and all these limited series now. How has that changed the landscape of acting? and Hollywood community and, and all of that, because it's pretty much here to stay, I think. I think uh, creatively, there's more room in streaming mm -hmm. for creators to, to tell these stories and to kind of have their fingerprint on these stories. A lot of time in network television, it's uh, the studio and there's, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. <laughs> and with these cable and streaming, it's like if they create, like if Taylor has his vision, he could see his vision through more so on streaming. Mm. And with streaming for actors, there's just more opportunities now. Like when I was coming up, there was four stations, Westerns were on two of them. <laughs> you know, like we didn't, there wasn't a lot, you know, for actors back then, but now there's so many outlets. Me and all my buddies like could be working at the same time uh -huh. uh, now. And, and not too long ago, that wasn't the case. It was like one job comes up, like, oh, you got that one? All right, I'll get them next season. <laughs> You know, <laughs> but now there's multiple opportunities for uh, for actors that it's, you know, it's 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 better, I think. Kind of like you go for this one. I'm going for that one because I really want to do that one. Yeah. That, that's pretty much, you know, that's what it is. Oh, you got that job. All right. Well, you're not going to be around for the next job. So uh, that, you're you're taken. So when the next one comes, I'll, you know, I should get that one. We'll see. <laughs> That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I wish 1883 would go on. But again, you can't really, I feel like you can't go on without Isabel. That was yeah. so heartbreaking. So <laughs> yeah, she was the uh, she was the heart of it. 
She really was. And fans let them know that. They yeah. certainly did. They were vocal. They were mad. They were yeah. mad. Oh, yeah. like, I mean, the, the most stories back then didn't necessarily have the happiest ending. So it was, it, it, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you. What's next for you quickly? Can you talk about anything? I got a couple things coming up uh, that I start very soon. They're going to make an announcement soon, so I can't talk about it. But I think uh, one of the series is going to, it's a really big series with some really big names a part of it. And I think awesome. people are going to be excited to hear that I'm jumping on board of that one. All right. Well, I'll keep an ear out and make sure that I, I watch that one as well. Yes, Thanks. absolutely. <laughs>